everyone and welcome to your first milestone project. In this lecture we're just going to discuss what your milestone project assignment is and the various notebooks in the repository dedicated to your first milestone project. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump to the repository and check out the assignment notebook for milestone project 1. So here I am at the complete Python bootcamp repository. If we just zoom in here, you can scroll all the way down to the M section for milestone and you'll see a couple of milestone project notebooks. We're going to go ahead and check out milestone project one assignment notebook. That should take you to this notebook here. In this case, I actually have it open in GitHub, not an NB viewer, so I can get the latest version. But the milestone project one, first off, I just want to congratulate you on making it to your first milestone project. You've already learned a ton and you're definitely ready to work on a real project. For this assignment, you're going to create a tic-tac-toe game. You can feel free to use any development environment you want, but just keep in mind that the solutions presented are going to be in the Jupyter Notebook format. The requirements for this milestone project are two players should be able to play the game, both sitting at the same computer. The board should be printed out every time a player makes a move, and you should be able to accept the input of the player position and then place a symbol on the board. You can feel free to use Google to help you figure anything out, but what I don't want you to do is just Google tic-tac-toe and Python. Otherwise, you won't learn anything because you'll just find a bunch of solutions online. Keep in mind, this project can take anywhere between a few hours, several hours, or several days. There's four Jupyter notebooks related to this assignment. There's the assignment notebook, which is the notebook we're looking at right now. There's a walkthrough steps workbook notebook, a walkthrough solution notebook, and then an advanced solution notebook. What I encourage you to do is just to try to start the project on your own right now without referencing any of those notebooks. I'm, I'll go over what these notebooks are in just a second, but what you should really try to do right now is just start from scratch, a fresh notebook, and see if you can actually program out or see how far you can get programming out a full tic-tac-toe game. If you get stuck, you can check out the next lecture, which is a text lecture with helpful hints and steps to follow. If you're still stuck after that, then check out the Walkthrough Steps workbook, which breaks up the project and steps for you to solve. If you're still stuck, then check out the Walkthrough Solution videos for more help on approaching the project. You should note that there are parts of this that are going to be a struggle, and that's good. I have complete faith in you that you've made it this far through the course and you have all the tools and knowledge to tackle this project. Remember, it's just totally open book, so take your time, do a little research, and remember, most of all, have fun. With that being said, Let's go ahead and check out the Walkthrough Steps Workbook Notebook. So I jump back to my repository, Complete Python Bootcamp, and I'm going to go through the Complete, or excuse me, the Walkthrough Steps Workbook Milestone Project 1 Notebook. This one actually has the solutions. But let's say you got stuck, the Helpful Hints Lecture, you're still stuck after that. You can check out this Walkthrough Steps Workbook, and if you click it, it'll look something like this. It's called Milestone Project 1 Walkthrough Steps Workbook. And below here is a set of steps for you to follow to create the Tic-Tac-Toe Milestone Project game. So you'll see here there's a bunch of cells for you to fill out and there's actually steps to telling you what functions to make. So for example the first step is write a function that can print out a board, set up your board as a list, etc. So as you follow these steps it will guide you in filling out the functions you need for actually creating the Tic-Tac-Toe project. If you're still stuck after this, then you can check out the full solution notebook in, and the videos for it in which we're going to actually walk through and solve all of these problems through a live coding section, do all of the steps and teach you every step necessary to complete the tic-tac-toe game. After that, if you're interested in a more advanced solution using a couple topics we haven't actually covered yet, you can go back to the Jupyter Notebook viewer and click Milestone Project 1 Advanced Solution. There's the complete walkthrough solution, which is the solution for all of these functions to make a working game. And then there's the advanced solution, which uses some topics we haven't covered yet, but are still nice to know in the context of the tic-tac-toe game. Okay, that's it for this lecture. Again, if you want the actual assignment, click on the assignment notebook. If you want some more hints, check out the next lecture for a text lecture um, considering a, consisting of helpful hints. If you want even more hints in a notebook format, you can click the walkthrough steps workbook and begin to fill out the functions defined here for you and follow the instructions. Still stuck after that, 
then check out the videos for the complete walkthrough solution. Okay, with that being said, best of luck and have fun.